Hello, book besties. I'm happy we're here together. Please like and subscribe, and together we can share stories with more friends, just like you and me. Friends, today's story, Frosty the Snowman. Adapted from the song of the same name, retold by Annie North Bedford, pictures by Corinne Malvern. Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman came to town one bright, cold winter's day. The first real snow of the winter had fallen the night before. In the morning, out came the children, and they started to roll snowballs. Round and round the snow, snowy yard, they rolled the snowballs. Soon they had two fine big ones. Round and round the yard again, and there was a little snowball, just the right size for a snowman's head. Billy ran home and brought two bits of coal to use for the snowman's eyes. Sally gave him a button nose and a funny corncob pipe. Tommy brought floppy galoshes and a scarf for the snowman, and Joe brought him a pair of old red mittens to wear. Now we need a hat, said Sally and Joe. So they all began to look around. Sally found an old cap, but it didn't look just right. Billy found a battered felt hat, but still it didn't look it didn't seem right. Just then down the street came a whistling wind, and it blew to their feet a shiny top hat. Just what we need, cried Sally and Joe. It's like magic, said Billy and Tommy. It was Tommy who picked up the shiny top hat and put it on the snowman's head. Zing! Tommy's hand sprang back with a shock. It is magic, gasped Tommy. So it is, said a voice, a deep, chuckling voice that they had never heard before. And a pleasant sort of magic. If I do say so myself, it's the snowman," whispered Sally, and so it was. Frosty the snowman, at your service," he said. That's how Frosty the snowman came alive. If you've never had a snowman for a friend, you can scarcely imagine all the fun those children had. For Frosty took them coasting, and never had their sleds slid so swiftly and so far. Frosty helped them build a snow house, and never had blocks packed so firmly and well. They all went ice skating, and the magical part was that while there we, while they were with Frosty, the children could stay out and play in the snow. And never get shivery cold. Was it Frosty's warm heart or his magical smile? Whatever it was, they thought it was fine. Each morning, when the children came out to play, Frosty had a wonderful plan all set. One morning he said, "Let's go shopping today. I've never seen a store, you know." So they all joined hands, and away they skipped off toward town, where the shops stood in rows. It was fun showing Frosty around, for he thought every window was wonderful. All around the town, they led, led Frosty that day, while the warm wintry sun shone down. Soon they came to a corner. And around the corner came a warm, gusty wind. Off went Frosty's hat, and away went Frosty after it. Tweet! Sang the traffic cop's loud whistle, and the children would not follow. Could not follow Frosty because the traffic streamed by, buses and trucks and cars. Tweet! Went the traffic cop's whistle again. The crossing stood empty before them now, but there was not a sign of Frosty to be seen. Only his top hat 
roll down the street all by itself in the melting snow. Mr. Policeman, the children cried, where has Frosty the Snowman gone? Oh, said the policeman, Frosty the Snowman has gone away where all snowmen go on a sunny day. But he'll be back at your bidding and call whenever great heaps of snowflakes fall. And he will. Happy Holidays!